Hey, hello, and welcome back to the Ms. Artastic podcast. I'm so excited. So I'm going to be trying to do a few things a little bit differently. My Both my YouTube channel and my podcast, I think, are going to go through a transition phase through this year. Um, and next year, you'll start seeing some of my older footage. So I so let's back up here. I tend to pre-record things a bunch. And now I'm kind of switching to a model where I'm going to try and show up um every week um and do a really 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 fresh uh podcast and youtube video for you so that way you have some um content that is really relevant for right now so i'm going to be talking about um our teacher tips through these weeks um giving you some ideas for the specific time of the year um helping you with your planning so anytime you have any questions be sure to leave them in the questions box or in the comment section below the video um and i'm also going to share what's new with ms artastic and what's happening now so it is currently autumn it's finally autumn i'm so excited um and to so here we go so what's new um a big announcement of oh sorry i have a whole new setup here i'm trying to adjust as you'll see I have a big mic i know that a lot of people were struggling with my audio i know a lot of you were really um unhappy with my audio quality so i got myself a new setup so i got mic I got not even a webcam, like a legit camera all hooked up to my computer so I can use <laughs> various technological pieces. So big learning curve for me. Um, and I've, I've invested in some tech for you so that way you can make your experience a lot better. So new thing in Ms. Artastic world, the art project membership is open for enrollment starting on September 23rd. So our project membership is more of a bite-sized um, curriculum. It's not my full Artastic Collective art curriculum. That opened up in August. That is closed now. And that's really designed for our teachers who need a ton of art projects. However, there are teachers, just general teachers, homeschool families that need art resources too in more of a bite-sized way more affordable way so for nine dollars a month or if you want a better deal it could be ninety dollars a year so that gives you two months free um you can enroll in art project membership and that is going to give you one full unit um for each month so every month you'll get a brand new unit in each unit they're going to explore various themes on art project membership whether it's the rainforest, flowers, various artists like Frida Kahlo or um, Andy Warhol, um, the Arctic, the desert. Anyways, various themes, the elements of art, principles of design. Um, we'll focus on one thing per month in each unit. So get one unit added to your library every single month. In each unit, you're going to get a little introduction video that you can use as a hook to the unit with your students. So it'll introduce the concept in a fun, engaging way. Then you're also going to get two art lessons. One art lesson for grades K to two, that's appropriate for your primaries, and a second art lesson with a video tutorial, lesson plans, assessment, rubrics, everything attached. That will be for grades three to five. So you have two art lessons that follow that theme. And then you're also going to have task cards with drawing prompts and art making prompts on them. All again, to do with that theme, you're going to get a directed drawing video as well. All the lessons in our project membership are all video based with your um, printable PDFs as well. So then you're going to get your directed drawing video again with that theme that's perfect for when you're done or a warm up activity um, gives you a little bit of flexibility. And then you're also going to get a when you're done or fast finisher activity for the end just to kind of reinforce learning and then use for your fast finisher. So it's all built in one themed unit, giving you a really in-depth learning experience. And inside your art lessons, you're also going to get some reading comprehension in there and some writing activities, making it really, really geared towards um, general classroom teachers or homeschool families not necessarily an art teacher but teachers who want to incorporate um, more art education into their classroom and then also just fire up the learning of their students and really dive deep into some topics 
So that is opening up September 23rd, Art Project Membership. Um, you can find that um, in the link below in the description of the video um, or podcast player that you're watching. I'll have it in the description. Um, or I believe you can go to www.artasticcollective.com dot com i'm gonna get there <laughs> artastic collective.com forward slash art project and that will take you to our project membership okay i got that right Ooh, sometimes i'm not so sure about my memory but yeah artastic collective.com forward slash art project to um find that membership and join today again for as low as nine dollars a month so easy one and done Okay, and then it's only open for five days, so make sure you mark your calendars for September 23rd so you are ready for that. All right, so new things happening. It's autumn. Um, before we get to my autumn awesomeness, a few things that I've done for this week that are coming out on my Teachers Pay Teachers store. I have four new resources. Yes, I'm going heavy for the next super two years. Um, just really pumping out some awesome brand new creative resources for you guys. Um, so that's kind of my, my next focus. So I've been a lot of focusing on my artistic collective curriculum and our project membership, our tested kids, my YouTube channel. And then my new phase is going to be, um, again, powering up my teachers pay teachers store with a bunch of brand new resources for you i have been adding in there i just haven't been vocal about it and i'm trying to find new ways to connect and give you guys some help so this is going to be my new thing i'm gonna come and talk to you guys every week and then maybe i'll like maybe maybe one day i'll even do it as lives on the weekend or like an after school time probably the weekend i might do lives so if i get to 10,000 subscribers maybe i'll start doing some lives we'll see Ooh, wouldn't that be so exciting? Okay, here we go. So brand new resource that I've created this that that's again, this one's gonna be another exciting one for just teachers or homeschool families. Um, this one is a CVC, <laughs> yes, a CVC worksheet booklet. So it's 50 different CVC words. Um, and I've grouped them into word families. And then in each for each word, there are four different pages. And it is a read, write, and draw, obviously. <laughs> read, write, and draw resource. So I've incorporated all three things. It's four pages. So by you can go through it slowly, like one word a week, um, or do two pages, you know, I would say one word a week by the time you work through it. Definitely is a kindergarten to grade one level resource. Um, and again, it's read, write, and draw because I was a visual learner myself. Um, and having grown up that way, I, I honestly, the way my brain thinks is through pictures, right? I need to see the picture in order to remember something. So for instance, when I was a teacher, I would have, I would really rely on students to create their name tags, not because I needed it, but because I needed to look at the name tag and look at their face and snap that picture in my brain. So I kind of thought about, okay, so how am I going to help teachers really reach all their learners and this is um how i'm going to do that so i thought okay so there are other kids like me out there who really need lots of different ways to understand information so i've done a read write and draw and there's lots of repetition in this um allowing them lots of different practice for learning new words okay so i have printed off two different pages and if you want a full rundown or see me do this in person i have i'll put up a cvc video on my youtube channel and also as a video preview in the resource itself this will be found on the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store. So you can just search Ms. Artastic on CPT and you'll find it there. I'll also link to it in the description of the video. Okay, so anyways, so there are four pages for each one. We're going to start off with log. So we have the reading part of it. So log, there's illustrations drawn by me on here because that's what I do. <laughs> but they're super cute and engaging. So we trace over log and then we're going to point and read log, log, log 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 and then we have a paragraph with um high frequency cbc words where they highlight the word and find it in there which it might be doing that together okay the second page obviously i don't have this in order <laughs> on the second page you have um some writing practice so they're tracing over the words um, then they're finding and circling the word in the box. Again, more writing practice. And they're going, these are all, this line here is all trace, tracing letters. I know I've already kind of colored over it to make my previews. Um, but they're tracing the word log 
over the trace lines and then they're going to write it themselves in the second line and then they're going to underline the word in the sentences below so again more practices and this is why i would also split up into multiple days okay so now we're going to reinforce the learning and target our other learners each one's going to have a directed draw again designed by me these are not this is not clip art this is all cute little drawings kind of like misertastic uh, YouTube style. So cute and fun. Um, so we got a little log, directed drawing, again, to practice reinforcing those visual learners and the various learners in your classrooms, in your classroom. But also, it's going to help build fine motor skills, right? You're reinforcing those fine motor skills, your creative thinking, all of that. So we're practicing other skills and in, in a more integrated way with this resource. Okay, so then they're going to trace and write again the word log, and then they're going to trace the sentence, and then they're going to come up with their own sentence for the word. Okay, then they have a coloring page. Um, so again, <laughs> in the misertastic style. Um, so it's a coloring page built into the resource where they color, they f color the parts that have the word. So this one's color the parts that have the word log, and then they're going to create an artwork. Yes, I know it's totally unique, right? Create an artwork of the, of a log, right? So they're going to create an artwork. Um, okay. I have a second page as well. Uh, I did not put this in order. Okay. So the next one is sun. So again, same idea, read and trace. Okay, writing part, we have a directed draw for sun and writing practice, and then color the word sun, find and color the word sun, and then draw the artwork below. So that's my new CBC um, word booklet. Again, there are 50 words in different word families. And then also, um, yeah, 50 words and each word has four pages. So there's just over 200 pages in, in total. And you can find that in the Misert Tastic store on Teachers Pay Teachers or find the link in the description uh, below. All right, so the next thing I've done, I've done three other resources. I've done some write and, sorry, not write and draws, craft and writes. Some craft and writes for you for autumn, some brand new ones. So I have some craft and writes I made up yes uh, last year. If you haven't seen them, definitely check them out in my store. They're all for the holidays and seasons. They're so cute. So they are craft and writes. So students are going to make a craft, but also there is a writing component included as well. And I've made it for, um, I've included lots of different template pages both for the writing and planning. So for the writing, there is going to be um, different uh, leveled writing paper. So some for your primary with the, like the larger lines, much like it you saw in my CBC <laughs> leveled um, book, um, but also some writing pages for your upper elementary, again, with the smaller lines and everything more complex, complex for them. So those are going to be in there as well. And they're going to be for both nonfiction and fiction writing. So you're going to have lots to choose from. You can choose to do both fiction and nonfiction. You can do just one. It's really up to you as a teacher. And there's also nonfiction and fiction planning pages within there. Your crafts are also going to be pretty unique. So I've already assembled them. But each one is going to come with various bits and pieces. You can see I've already cut it apart. But they come with various bits and pieces. I would not give one to each student. I would cut out, you know, with your big guillotine cutter, cut them out in pieces and give like two pages per um, table. You also have various eye templates. Um, each craft is going to be unique pieces for them. Um, so that way um, your students can all create and assemble very unique crafts. Okay, so none of them are gonna be the same. They're also gonna have a pick a pattern page where they're gonna pick the patterns that they're gonna to use to draw in their backgrounds and you can use whatever you want to use as an art medium to color these in. So there's a little bit of an art element, an art element, not just craft only. And of course they're integrated with writing. They're gonna be so fired up to learn and write after creating this because it's gonna be all inspired by their craft. All right, so this new this year, I've added a new pumpkin. I did do a pumpkin last year. This one's a little cutie. Um, so there's a new pumpkin added craft and write, pumpkin craft and write that you can now grab in my Teachers Pay Teachers store. There's also an acorn. Okay, so new for autumn is I've added this cute little acorn craft and write to my Teachers Pay Teachers store. And finally, 
this super fun. I know there you there's your totally unique styles. There's lots of crafts on Teachers Pay Teachers, but these are totally unique. They're super fun. They're super engaging, and they're so silly. Kids are gonna absolutely love them. They get like some creative um, practice, some fine motor skills. They're practicing writing, so it's very integrated, making it perfect for homeschooling, perfect for classrooms, and integrating art. Check that out. Um, this one is an autumn leaf. So fun. So those are brand new, ready to go for autumn. Now I do have lots of other resources. So if you're looking for more art tutorials, I have a lot of those there um, already. So if you go to the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store on the left can column where you find my categories, I would hit autumn and there you're gonna find lots of different art projects um, ready to go and different art tutorials that are easy to do in your classroom. So I can show you those and you can check out some variations if you're wanting if you're an art teacher or your classroom teacher that just wants more actual art tutorials i'll show you what i got in there as well all right so this is the ms artastic teachers pay teachers store so if you've never been to it you can simply head on over to www.teachers.com um and then at uh, teacherspayteachers.com you can uh, search in the little search bar at the top Ms. Artastic um, you can see I have some autumn stuff already there so up at the search bar you can type in Ms. Artastic at teacherspayteachers.com and you'll see that it comes up there boop there I am you're gonna click that and you'll come to this page you'll know you got there because there's my face and there's the cat all right so we're gonna scroll down and you see again I got some autumn stuff already featured for you but we can scroll down and I'm going to show you where we're going to find the categories. So on the left hand side here, you'll see where it says all resources and we're going to scroll down past holidays down to where it says seasons and we're going to click autumn. So here you'll find my pumpkin from last year. I made some November write and draws, some really fun autumn uh, grid draws. These are perfect for practicing. These are for your older students, like middle school, high school level for practicing your grayscale value scales and creating a little bit of a realistic image. These are the artworks that I created, art projects that I created for last year um, in the autumn theme. Again, I got write and draws for all your seasons and months of the year. If you're looking for more of those, I have a full autumn art unit that has an intro, um, three art tutorials, challenges, and so much more. It's so fun. If you want something in depth, I also have autumn grid draws that are more cartoon style and autumn challenge cards that kind of focus on the elements of art as some really fun ways um, to just have some easy learning, use it as a bell ringer, whatever. Um, you also have some autumn roll and draws so you can students will roll the different parts of their directed drawing and so they'll each have a different drawing piece at the end. I also have some autumn art lessons that are video tutorials. Now any video tutorials are hosted directly on teacherspayteachers.com. They are not downloadable files that prevents any copyright or my sharing illegally. <laughs> and also they're very big files because they're videos. So they're hosted on the platform itself. So you can watch it kind of like a YouTube video um, once you own it. I also have some that are for, that are autumn but in theme of art history so i have a jean-michel basquiat a pumpkin i have a van gogh pumpkin and a yayoi kusama pumpkin art lesson if you want some art history integration i also have some digital art resources in autumn and then tons more art projects um, they might look a little bit different eventually i am going to work on updating some of my covers but the art projects will stay the same i also have ceramics if you didn't know if you're looking for ceramics art lessons guys i got you covered so those are some of the autumn ones and if you're looking ahead I also have Halloween so again you're going to go to the side here you're going to scroll down until you find, go to holidays and you're going to click Halloween and it's my favorite time of year so I got a lot of stuff I just love Halloween so Halloween write and draws Halloween grid draws I love these Halloween art projects that I created last year they're so cute look at that pumpkin it's so fun um, that little ghost for your little case and that spooky jar for your middle school students perfect a Halloween art unit Halloween grid draws, Halloween challenge cards, Halloween roll and draws, Halloween art activities, and so many more. Um, these ones are charcoal down here. So fun to really spice up and flavor up and supercharge your students. I know that. 
All right, my friend, that's what I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed checking out what's new in the Mizartastic universe. Don't forget to join our project membership opening on September 23rd. That's Monday. I'm so excited for that. And I will see you next week and I'll let you know what's happening in the Mizartastic world. Um, sometimes I might even do some art tutorials with you right here on the podcast. So if you're wanting to get ideas, make sure you subscribe or follow me and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much and I'll see you then.